because she will be busy with other activities in her life with her business with her children she wouldn't want to have a man tied to her apron strings 247 it's not possible it's not done we all know that right now that we are seeing a social change we are experiencing a social revolution of uh, empowered women of awakened women of women who are awakened and enlightened to the realities and the possibilities of a better life for themselves a lot of young ladies don't even want to marry single men because they don't want to be solely responsible for cooking cleaning and looking after the man because that is what patriarchy actually does it disempowers a man domestically and empowers a man financially that is why sometimes you will hear some men saying oh men are not valued except for their money if a man has no money he has no value that is how patriarchy harms a man we are much more than what we own we are god's own creation every grace blessing and abundance and beauty and everything that god has he has put in each and every one of us so if we are going to be reduced to the value of only what we have either materially or sexually then that is disempowering and that is exactly what patriarchy does it disempowers us in different ways it disempowers a man from the spiritual value and empowers the man with the financial value and disempowers a woman with the financial value and empowers her with the spiritual value that is why we have so much imbalance what we need in our societies is equal value that will bring balance when we collectively work in both values when we collectively grow in both spiritual financial and social values that is the only way that the society will have a balance i don't want to have a man to myself 247 tied to my apron strings because that is so much responsibility that i do not have the strength to carry every woman carries the responsibility of her children the mental emotional and social upbringing and molding of the children is on her and then you want to tie an adult to your upstream 247 is too much to ask but then of course there are men i understand there are men who are monogamous in nature they don't want to have many other women they just want one one woman they just they are okay with one woman which is okay and to me i think it is very wise because more women more responsibilities more women more commitment that requires responsibilities we all know the responsibilities that comes in every relationship a relationship is a lot of responsibility it requires a lot it requires a lot of every man mentally physically emotionally sexually and financially how do men cope with multiple of such responsibilities i have no idea i'm not a man but i see how that takes a toll on most men if you ask me i will say it is the reason why they have a very low mortality rate but then that's a discussion for another day what we're talking about here is that society the patriarchal society ensures that it boxed women into that box where they have no alternative they have no choice but to cling on to the comforts that their men provide if the man is the only source of comfort that the woman has he provides her mentally emotionally financially and economically for her and her children and don't forget what if these resources are not enough then the resources that she's managing will now be taken to give another woman is common sense no one will like to share when they are living with scarce resources but when there is abundance resources of course they will want to share we are not inherently selfish society teaches us to be selfish we are taught to be selfish by society by some life realities by some experiences in life that we have seen or experienced but inherently 
no person no one person is selfish we are all taught to be selfish by society so i can assure you that there are very high possibilities that if there is enough resources no woman will want to keep a man to herself he can go and be the sisyphus of many other women so long as her needs are met mentally sexually emotionally and financially and of course the children they have between themselves if they are two six eight ten if the man provides for them as well they wouldn't mind sharing but then i know women who do not mind sharing their men are not as many as women who absolutely despise to share their men there are women who are very territorial and they stick only with polygamy that need that desire is valid so any woman who wants to have a monogamous relationship her choice is valid but she should also understand that unless her man also voluntarily chooses to be monogamous she must not manipulate him because that is infringing on his personal right I know what it means for my rights to be violated so the last thing I would ever want to do in my life is to violate someone else's right so if as a woman I know that my the man I'm in love with is polygamous I have to learn to accept that or the best thing I can do is to leave that relationship and on the other hand if my man is monogamous I would like to be monogamous like me then voila that is fine if I chose monogamy, I should choose a man who is monogamous. And if I chose monogamy, I must never choose a man who is polygamous in nature because it will only result to conflict, which will make the relationship toxic, which is not healthy for either party. And if we are talking about peace in the world, we cannot have peace in the world until we have peace within us until we have peace in us until we have peace between ourselves that's the only way that peace can reign in the world so this to me is a very simple issue it's a very simple issue and if perchance you are already in a monogamous relationship and your man decides he wants to be polygamous then sit yourself down and sincerely be honest with yourself is this something you want to be engaged involved in or not if you want to be involved due to many reasons which is only best known to you which are valid then by all means necessary stay and give it a shot but if right from the word go you feel no this is not for me this was not our arrangement this is, was not our agreement then please live in peace take a walk no you, no point in creating so much uh, animosity so much toxicity so much chaos simply because of a relationship we are seven billion people in this on this planet if you desire a monogamous relationship someone else desires a monogamous relationship as well and god will eventually one day bring you together so please the first and most important step in ensuring peace in the world is by finding our own peace and when we are not at peace with ourselves we cannot have peaceful relationships it is only when we are at peace with ourselves that we can find peaceful relationships and it is by building peaceful relationships that we can bring peace to the world so I hope that men you now understand how patriarchy harms you and how you can also join hands in ensuring that we have a different narrative. Esther Villa's sentiments were also captured and amplified by Nigerian poet, critic and writer Chin Weazu Ibekwe in his book the anatomy of female power now these are books i'm still looking for i still don't have them these quotations i messages shared to me by friends i'm still looking for these books when i get these books and i buy them i will share them with you but i will also encourage you to get copies of this book and read for yourselves so that you will get the same enlightenment that i'm trying to share with you in this video so Chimwazu Ibeko's book, The Anatomy of Female Power, and Will Farrell's The Predatory Female, push the theory that all societies are matriarchal and no patriarchal as we were pushed and forced to believe. 
that's very interesting what these books are trying to say is that covertly all society is matriarchal but we were made to believe is patriarchal so let's head rational behind their saying this they argue that matriarchy has ruled not through brawn but weeks and tricks and that women are feeling weakness to be protected thus the male becomes the most exploited sex in human history we all know that in wars the man is always ready to die for the woman because he has been trained to do that